Hi YouTube, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rooney, and if you are here for part two of the two-part series for best and worst parts about university, here are the five worst parts about university. Starting off strong here with university is a scam. JK, JK. Uh, it's not a scam. The way I'm saying this is because the cost. Yes, it costs a lot of money. To anybody who is really worried about the cost, let me just tell you, college is there. And college is also completely fine. Nothing wrong with going to college. And then the other thing I can tell you is go to a cheaper university. There's also nothing wrong with that. If cost is what's preventing you from going to university, just go to a cheaper university or go to college. Same thing, okay? But the actual worst part about the costs are the fact that there are a lot of like hidden fees, I'll say, that they don't tell you about up front when you're paying for tuition. No, you're literally paying, like for me, some of the hidden fees are I'm paying for like construction of buildings that they're not even constructing. Like, I think about like there was like 20 ish dollars or something that went to like some construction fee what am i constructing like what and also there's a gym membership that i paid for too which i don't use that gym membership because i go to a different gym and you can't like take away those fees they're just built in to the tuition and so i guarantee whatever university you go to also does the same thing for you so in that sense it's kind of a scam not to mention textbooks oh my god Half of the textbooks that I bought this term, maybe read like three chapters in each of them. Some of them didn't even pick up once. The professor didn't even mention it once, but we bought it for what reason? And so if you want tips on how to save money for textbooks or to find cheap textbooks, go check out the video that I made a couple months ago. <laughs> Second worst part about university are the parking tickets. If, if you have a car, you're destined to get a parking ticket at some point i'm sorry it's just you know what really grinds my gears and irks me is the fact that we have some classes are like three hours long but i can only pay for two hour parking make it make sense make it make sense who designed this who and, or when i'm writing a stupid exam exam I, same thing exams are like two to three hours long and i can only pay for two hour parking make it make sense there are such things as parking passes as well but i think that's a waste of money because like for me it was like four hundred dollars i was like no i'm not paying that meanwhile parking tickets i mean those can also be costly i guess so i don't know if you're i only got two parking tickets this term so living a life you know the third thing that is the worst part about university is obviously the stress the anxiety the sophomore blues whatever you want to call it <sighs> it gets overwhelming and stressful and the only thing i can say to you is you just gotta find ways to cope with that <laughs> that's just the nature of university um it does get stressful but what i can tell you is don't quit because if you just let yourself go and start to stop caring start to stop caring, that doesn't make any sense if you just start to not care you're gonna fail you're gonna fail courses you're gonna fail grades you're gonna not want you're gonna drop out you're not gonna want to keep doing it so just find some type of motivation within yourself set little goals adjust those goals if you're not passing you know and also make use of getting to know your professor. Like I mentioned in the other part of this video, I said networking, getting to know your professors. Well, if you know your professor and you're failing, professors can actually write a letter about you to like the office or dean or whatever you call it. And they can excuse you if you failed a course. And that can save you a lot of time from redoing the course again. They can just excuse you from doing from the course which i don't know if that gets you the credits but at least you can like 
pass and continue if continue with courses that require that course as a prerequisite if that makes sense just look into it don't give up like john cena always says the fourth thing that i say is the worst part about university is the weird class schedules so like i mentioned in the part before i said that there's freedom in picking your schedule but sometimes you are limited sometimes you are constricted and especially in a small university like mine classes are only offered at certain times of the day and you can't pick another time <laughs> unless you want to wait a whole nother term and then just kind of delay your progress in your degree which i don't want to do so sometimes you're gonna to have to do really uncomfortable classes like evening classes or if you're not a morning person morning classes i love morning so i don't mind those as much so yeah those weird kind of conflict with scheduling like that is some of the worst parts about university like to find classes or sometimes classes are full and you're on the wait list or like it's just it's a struggle to get courses and to have that perfect schedule that you want but at the end of the day it's only for a term it's only for four months you'll get through it just count down the classes like i've been doing go check out my instagram by the way you should i just want to take a quick moment and say please subscribe because i've been seeing some slight improvement on the viewership thank you by the way but not so much increase in the subscribers so please subscribe if you're watching this video chances are you care about this content and you care to watch more videos by me so i would really really appreciate it if you subscribe thank you the fifth and last thing that i think is one of the worst parts about university is just your comfort zone you definitely are pushed out of your comfort zone either voluntarily because you do it to yourself or just it comes with the nature of university so for example if you're not a public speaker you don't enjoy that you're gonna have to get used to it because there's a lot of class projects especially in presentations especially in like business related courses or if you're really shy in science related courses most of the time in labs there's group work as well it's inevitable that you're gonna have to work with people or speak in front of people at some point in your university journey. And so what I say to you is again, find a coping mechanism, find a way to help yourself, find a way to get help and seek help and <laughs> cope. <laughs> because um, I definitely also was not great with public speaking until I did this. I mean, here, this is public speaking right now, right? I'm speaking to the public and anyone can watch this and i have to be okay with that and sometimes i make mistakes sometimes i stutter and sometimes i make weird faces but people are gonna see this and that's public speaking so maybe hey maybe a tip for you guys if you have trouble public speaking don't make a youtube channel unless you want to then go for it but just record yourself you don't have to post or do anything like that but just record yourself talking to a camera i find that helps with speaking with people as well so i also find that like it's weird but when you first think of professors you think they're going to be all professional and like i don't know just professional professors have no boundaries it's crazy sometimes you're just talking about professors about the weirdest things ever and you want them to like you so you just go on with it so i guess in that way it's also a boundary and uh, out of your comfort zone just definitely treat them like they are a person don't treat them like they're a doctor or you know most people most professors at least that i've talked to they don't prefer when you call them doctor and then their last name no they just prefer you call them by their first name or just professor first name you know what i mean all right well i hope you guys enjoy this video and learn some things and learn about the five worst parts about university and hopefully it doesn't scare you too much and i still encourage highly 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 encourage you to go to university if you are still undecided and still don't know check out my video about how to pick a university check out my video about scholarships they will help you get to university and yeah
discuss about it for the video, leave comments down below again. I will be doing a Q&A soon, so I will be answering comments from this video and the one before it. Leave a like, I think I already mentioned that. <laughs> subscribe. Like I mentioned, it means so much to me when you subscribe, so thank you so much. Check out my TikTok and Instagram, and bye! See you later!